PFIC is progressive familial intrahepatic cholestasis. It's a very serious, ultra-rare uh, disease. Uh, it's a disease that uh, is a is genetic disease, an autosomal recessive disease. And it, uh, it manifests itself very early in the lives uh, of children. Uh, and untreated, most children who, who have that disease you know, would die by the age of 20, so very serious disease. So A4250 has a unique mechanism of action in treating PFIC. How does, how does it work? It works by blocking the reuptake of bile acids in the distal part of your ileum, so the very end of your small intestine. So what happens with children who have PFIC is they have very high levels of bile acids that are building up on the liver. And normally uh, what occurs is the ileal bile acid transporter, the IBAT transporter, will uh, be responsible for reuptake for bile acids. What occurs with A4250, it blocks that reuptake of bile acids and drains the liver of excess bile acids into the colon. So it's a very elegant mechanism of action, and it's a mechanism of action that is once a day, it's an oral medication, and because it's in the gut, it's virtually non-systemic as well. Yeah, our industry is a long cycle time industry. So A4250 has been in clinical development, boy, since uh, around 2008, so almost eight years uh, now. We've made tremendous progress with A4250 through a, an elegant phase one study in uh, healthy volunteers uh, and adults, uh, a very nice adult study in a different uh, cholestatic liver disease indication. But we just recently announced the results of our phase two study uh, uh, with children with cholestatic liver diseases. Uh, and, and that study showed fantastic results in reducing serum bile acids, improving pruritus, and being really well tolerated. So we finished phase two. We've had some great discussions with regulatory authorities here in the United States and in Europe. And we recently announced the uh, design of our phase three study. And our phase three study, uh, we will initiate in the second half of this year. That's what our plan is. Uh, and that study obviously will be used to, uh, to seek approval in both the United States and in Europe. So cholestatic, pediatric cholestatic liver disease is many different diseases. Now we're starting with focusing on PFIC, PFIC, uh, but there are other diseases that we'll consider over time. Uh, the most common other diseases are, are biliary atresia, which is a disease of around malformed uh, bile ducts, or uh, allergyl syndrome, which is also a genetic disease, uh, which has many different manifestations. Uh, and then there's, there's the pruritus itself across uh, cholestatic liver diseases. So we're considering all of these. And we're considering them all because the unmet medical need is very high. There's no pharmacologic treatment for any of these, uh, any of these diseases. And we hope that A4250 could be a really exciting uh, therapeutic option for children and their families. Albareo was formed in 2008 when AstraZeneca made the decision to exit early GI. Our scientists said, wow, there's some fantastic assets here. Could we take these, uh, these assets? And they formed the company in Gothenburg, Sweden at that time uh, with those assets. Our first product was a, a product that we developed for chronic constipation, also an IBAD inhibitor, uh, which we partnered in 2012. And then the company uh, came to the United States uh, in 2015, and we became a, a public company in 2016, and we're a NASDAQ-listed company where we have a nice portfolio of where our lead asset is A4250, which we're developing for orphan pediatric liver diseases. Our lead partner compound is Elabixabat, where we're partnered in Japan with EA Pharma. But then we have an, another lovely bile acid malabsorption disease product and a nice portfolio, preclinical portfolio for NASH. Alvareo is focused on both uh, rare diseases and more common diseases. And the way that we approach things uh, for the company is uh, we, we develop internally uh, the orphan diseases, and we'd like to go all the way with the orphan diseases. Our strategy for the more common diseases is to take the products to a particular point and partner them. 
And for a smaller company like ourselves, I think that's a very effective strategy. Now, developing uh, orphan drugs and developing uh, drugs for the wider population, very different challenges. And you know, in the orphan space, it really starts with a number of, of things. It starts with, first of all, the endpoints. Uh, endpoints often in orphan diseases are not well defined, and you really have to work with the regulatory authorities to find the appropriate endpoints. Second thing that's uh, more challenging is actually finding the patients. In the case of PFIC, an ultra-orphan disease, uh, you know, this is a disease that we estimate around 10,000 individuals around the world, uh, 1 in 50 to 100,000 individuals. So finding those patients um, is a challenge. And then the last thing in the orphan space, disproportionate number of sites that you need to uh, generate your trial data. You know, in our case for the A4250 phase 3 trial, we estimate will be between 30 to 40 different sites. Whereas when you go to the wider patient populations, you know, uh, endpoints are usually a, a lot clearer. It's easier to find patients, and then you don't have to go to as many sites you know, to generate the data that you need. For A4250, we do not have any cl clinical trials currently underway, but we anticipate our phase three trial starting in the latter part of this year. And I'd recommend that clinicians or patients reach you know, to our website, www.albareopharma.com, uh, and they'll be able to get all the information uh, that we need. For the rest of our portfolio, these are products that are in various stages of either preclinical or starting patients, you know, uh, in next year or, or the like. So if you go to the website, you'll be able to get an update on all of these things. You know, these children that have these rare cholestatic liver diseases, you know, have a failure to thrive overall. These children, you know, particularly PFIC children, you know, they don't grow, uh, they don't sleep very well. Unfortunately, they don't sleep very well and they don't do as well in school as, as a result. And the symptoms, this unbelievably terrible paritis, you know, these kids self-mutilate and they, uh, you know, they're scratching their faces and, and their skin. Right now, the treatment options are very poor. The treatment options are either off-label adult drugs or two surgeries, either liver transplant or a surgery of, of where they divert bile acids into a stoma bag. So the pharmacological options are, are terrible. And, and these diseases are very disruptive for the family overall. The team in Albareo, you know, we are committed to helping those children and those families. And so we work with a tremendous set, a sense of urgency uh, because the unmet medical need is so high. And we hope to get there very soon.